And so here we are, Samsung have launched the Galaxy S21. And as with previous years, some devices come with the Snapdragon, some devices come with the Exynos. So today we're gonna to be testing the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Snapdragon 888 against the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Exynos 2100. Will this be the year that the Exynos processor can beat the Qualcomm Snapdragon? Well, let's find out. So we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Snapdragon 888 on the left-hand side, and we have the S21 Ultra with the Exynos 2100 on the right-hand side. Neither of them are connected to any Wi-Fi or cellular networks. And already we can see a slight lead, I think, by the 2100. Yes, it's the first into the compression test. Could this be the year that Exynos is able to beat the Snapdragon? Let's find out as we carry on now. Of course, it will come down to the GPU test. Adreno versus Mali, and we're already into the 16th thread test, and the lead still being maintained by the Exynos 2100. It's going to be the first to get to the end, definitely there. Yes, and of course, the CPU is pretty similar in both these devices. Of course, the clock speeds are slightly higher in the Exynos 2100, and that is showing so far as it is the first into the infinite scrolling list. In a minute, we're going to get to the smoke particle test, really our first indication of the uh, 2D graphic speed. There we go. First in was the Exynos 2100. Was it at 35, 34, 26? Oh, there's a big difference as now. The Snapdragon 888 has taken the lead. It's the first into the Unity test and they started off neck and neck, but clearly, yes, clearly the Snapdragon 888 is doing better on the left-hand side there. It's coming down to the water already. It's going to swing right and go to the end of the valley. There we go. And now it will go into the Unreal test as only now is the Exynos 2100 swinging right and going to the end of the valley as the Snapdragon 888 is now coming to the end of the Unreal test. What will the final time be? Here we go. 1 minute 19 seconds on the right-hand side. The Exynos 2100 is continuing through the sparkling forest it will get to the end any moment now what will the final time be let's see 127.2 okay let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened so as we saw, they're a convincing win for the S21 with the Snapdragon 888, 1 minute 19 seconds. And then 8.2 seconds later came in the S21 with the Exynos 2100. But what actually happened? If you look at the CPU, we can actually see that the Exynos 2100 won 33.4 seconds. And 1.3 seconds later came in the Snapdragon 88 with 34.7. And that is surely due to the higher clock speeds of the Exynos 2100, even though they are basically using the same CPU setup. However, things change when we get into the mixed CPU G GPU, we saw that higher frame rate in the smoke particle test. So 20.1 seconds for the Exynos, only 18.1 seconds for the Snapdragon 888, a difference of two seconds. And then when we get into the GPU test, both Unreal and Unity, we can see quite a difference here, 7.5 seconds difference, 33.6 for the Exynos, 26.1 for the Snapdragon. So overall, the Snapdragon wins with a time of one minute, 19 seconds. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Speedtest G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please Please do give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos why not stick around by subscribing to the channel okay that's it i'll see you in the next one